Imagine your company is surrounded by a large number of allegations, and your workplace is described as one of the worst in the industry. So what will you do? Activision Blizzard did the worst possible. Activision Blizzard was formed in 2008 as a result of a merger, and since then, Activision Blizzard has produced many popular games from Overwatch to the Call of Duty franchise. But when everything was going alright for them, Gamergate happened, and everyone became aware of whatever was going on in the industry back then. Slowly, the allegations of Activision's mistreatment of their employees, especially female employees, started to come out. The allegations were bizarre and frequent, and slowly everyone began to raise their eyes on Activision. Since the merger, Activision Blizzard has seen many different leaders and their visions. Some did a great job, but some didn't. And in the end, it all led to California Department of Fair Employment and Housing v. Activision Blizzard. Obviously, Activision denied all the allegations, but we know how the internet works. As soon as this case began, Activision started to lose sponsor partners, and they even had to cancel the Hearthstone expansion. Damage was done to them, and like many companies, Activision decided to do damage control quickly. I mean, ask yourself, what would have been the best option here? Improving the work culture and making it better? For Activision, this wasn't an option because they already knew what must be done, which is developing an engine who will rank or grade characters on how diverse they are. The working system of this engine was pretty dumb yet simple. The engine's job was to analyze the characters Activision has fed the system based on their culture, ethnicity, age, ability, body type, gender identity, and sexual orientation. Basically, what Activision meant by this was that they don't care about writing good characters of any type because all they care about is cash grabs and their pity public image. But the worst part is how they even thought that this would work. There's not much information, but we can assume how this system ranks, and I'm sure this diverse tool would have instantly rejected Geralt. This tool gives some sort of point value to characters in each of the categories I mentioned earlier. Activision's plan was to use this tool for almost all of its games to increase diversity, like in Call of Duty or Overwatch. Activision Blizzard faced immediate backlash for this tool, and what they thought would happen happened exactly the opposite way. Now it seems like they are not very public about this tool, but that doesn't mean they have cancelled it or not. Activision needs to understand that the method they are using to correct their image and save their company will only backfire. I mean, the Call of Duty franchise is known for having great characters that don't feel forced, yet they are neglecting their natural ability. The allegations Activision Blizzard faced require thoughtful decisions, not some cheap damage control by creating a pseudoscience tool. It appears that some MIT guys were involved in the creation of this tool. So yeah, Activision was 100% serious when they thought of this idea, and even released a pretty iconic statement. The objective of using the tool is to uncover unconscious bias by identifying existing norms in representation and acknowledging opportunities for growth and inclusion. It is not a substitute for any other essential effort by our teams in this regard, nor will it alter our company's diversity hiring goals. But clearly this was a bad idea, and Activision needs to stop making these dumb politicizing moves and actually focus on making good games while also providing a healthy working environment for its employees. And remember, not everything is bad for Activision financially when they actually make some games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and that's what their business plan should be making good games that will make people happy, and people will make Activision happy by purchasing their games. So that's it for today's video, and I hope you enjoyed it or found it informative. If that's the case, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. I'll see you next time. Take care.